in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the best route combinations for horizontal stretching of the defense. This is an important style of route combination to have in no matter what formation you're going to run. But I want to show it to you today out of the trips tight end formation because the trips tight end formation is going to offer the best spacing for this. You can do this out of any formation in the game. Uh, but if you guys want to get my entire trips tight end offensive ebook, just dropped a big update over in the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a Patreon member. It'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. And for this setup or for this concept, you can literally do this out of any play in the formation. It doesn't really matter uh, what play you're gonna do this out of. I'm gonna do it out of drive post, but you can do it out of anything in the formation, all right? So like I said, we're in the Patriots playbook and uh, we're gonna show you how to utilize this setup to be able to literally attack any defense that you face. It doesn't matter if it's man, it doesn't matter if it's zone. This is this setup specifically is going to do a really good job um, against pretty much anything, all right? And the reason why is because we have routes that are gonna be able to really attack zone well, but we also have routes that are really going to attack man coverage well as well. Now the setup for this play, um, if you think that it is man covered, I'm gonna give you a man coverage setup and I'm also going to give you a zone coverage setup, okay? So if you think that it's man coverage, which if you're in trips tight end, it's pretty easy to tell if it's probably gonna be man coverage. If the cornerback on the right uh, is actually kind of moved over to the left side because he's playing the trips formation. So this is kind of an indicator that it's probably going to be man coverage. And so what I like to do with this play is we're gonna put our tight end on a five yard out route. That quick out route really can do a really nice job of being able to attack man coverage. If you don't have Hot Route Master, go ahead and leave the running back on this little block and release ghost route. It will do a really good job at attacking zone if we guess wrong. Now on the back side of this, all we're gonna do is we're gonna put our backside receiver CD Lamb on a flat, and then you can leave this route that Carmichael's on, or you could put him on a five yard in. I like to put him on a five yard in. This right here is one of the most consistent ways to attack a defense horizontally that is also going to give you a pretty good play for attacking man to man. Your first read is gonna be your tight end quick to the flat. If you have short and elite, oftentimes he is going to light up and you can easily pass lead that to the outside. So now what they have to do defensively um, is they're gonna to have to, at the very least, go ahead and maybe shade, do some shading uh, to the outside of the formation. Maybe they drop a hard flat zone over in that pocket, right? And then now if you look to the back side of the formation, we can start to attack over here. So. If they do drop a flat over here, let's say that's taken away, then our eyes are going to progress to this post route over the middle of the field. This drive post route specifically is a really, really good post route for getting separation against man coverage. Now, let's say that you're running a formation and you don't have the drive post post route. What can you do? Really, it's as simple as putting a slant there. You could put a post route, a slot apprentice post route. You could put a smart route, an in route. Any of that stuff will work fine for what we're trying to do. And what you'll notice is against man coverage, slants this year are super effective for attacking man coverage. One of the most consistent routes uh, in the game this year for attacking man. So feel free to use slants. So if you think about it now, the user is gonna have to guard the post route over the middle of the field because if they don't guard the post route over the middle of the field, then the post route over the middle field is going to get consistent separation. And that takes us to our last read, which is this backside flat in combination. And if they use the post, we're able to check it down to the backside in route. Now, how does this specific concept do against zone? Actually, just pretty good. Um, the flat route is going, you're gonna have a lot of two man games over the, over the uh, sidelines here. So if you watch this flat route and yellow zone, this running back's gonna sit in a little soft spot. You have to remember their user is at play here. And if you think about it, what is their user probably going to guard? Well, the user is probably going to guard this uh, deep post because it's the best route on the play. So if that's the case, if the user is going to guard that post, what does it leave open? It leaves the in route over the middle late. If they blitz you, I'll show you what it leaves open here in just a second, but it also leaves open this running back little ghost route, uh, which if you wanted to, you could put them on a streak, but this little ghost route right here is just gonna sit in this little pocket and you can just throw that right there and you're getting about five to seven yards. 
Again, this is not a flashy play, but it's a very effective play because it attacks zone and man uh, at a very, very high rate. Now, let's say, for example, that your opponent is going to run maybe a, a cover three style of pressure, right? So something like this with their user over the middle of the field. What this does against that specific setup is really high level. So basically what you're going to be able to do here is these flat routes, the out route and the, and the flat on the left side, they're going to pull those flat zones out and then you can easily check down to your in route on the left or you can check down to your running back ghost route on the right. Now you might be asking, well, Cody, if they're, if they're telling us that it's zone, which the best way that you know that it's zone is something like this. So you look how that corner moved over. Now this probably is zone. How can we attack this in zone? What we can do is we can, instead of running the flat in combination on the left side, that's gonna run themselves into coverage, we wanna sit in zone and run against man. So if we think it's zone, what we're gonna do is we're still gonna run that out route, ghost route concept on the right. We're still gonna have the post right over the middle of the field in case it is man. But on the left side, we're gonna put a hitch to CeeDee Lamb, and we're gonna put a zig route or an out route to Harold Carmichael. And so what you'll see here is now the flat zones are gonna suck outside, and then you can freeform inside that specific route to CeeDee Lamb over the middle of the field. Allows you to attack zone at a really high level. If you wanted to, you could put him on a, an actual specific curl route. Um, I really like the out route uh, for pulling zones this year. Last year, the zig was a little better. Out route, I think this year is better uh, because you can see, if it, again, if the yellow zones are drifting back, you can easily check down to this. What this does is it just forces them to have to defend horizontally. And then once they start to defend horizontally, let me show you what that might look like. So if they want to defend this horizontally, the best thing they can do is really a defense that looks something like this. They're going to have to have a lot of underneath coverage. The problem is because they have to have five layers of zones underneath and they still have to use the post, all we have to do on the backside is put a flat, a streak, and then run it like this, run the concept, the slant post concept, which we all know and love out of this play. And now they can't defend. They're going to have a really hard time defending that fade route on the left side. Again, you might want to go to the play verticals um, to get a little bit better of a route. But now this is how you can kind of pair really two concepts uh, together that are really effective because now they have to adjust to your underneath passing game and then that's gonna open up your vertical passing game over the middle of, or on the sidelines. Thanks for watching the video. For more tips and tricks like this, or if you wanna get my entire trips tied in offensive ebook, join the Patreon. It's only $10 to do so and it'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.